let's do some first impressions on the banner. So as you can see, you know, we have Tartaglia there. And there's Rosaria, who everyone was waiting for. Everyone knew that Rosaria would be on Child's banner because obviously she didn't appear on Venti's. And unless they put Rosaria on Venti's banner, if they put Rosaria on Venti's banner, no one would have a reason to pull for Child anymore, actually. Um, except for the actual child simps. Yeah, so on this banner, you have the four stars of Rosaria, Fischl, and Barbara. Fischl obviously works well. Um, my boyfriend has recently been putting Fischl with child, and it's been like an amazing combination for them. But he has C6 Fischl. But then Barbara, though, like she was on a recent banner. It's not really, it's not that pog. So kind of sad about that you know it really could have been someone else like Sin Yan for example who hasn't really been on a banner for a while I don't know am I pulling on this banner I'm not really pulling for Rosaria and I'm not going to pull on the character banner because I'm really really hyped about the weapon banner I am so ready to try to swipe lost prayer to the sacred winds I know this banner is hard to pull on uh, because of the whole 50-50 system and not even 50-50 system like you there's no guarantee that you will get the one you want between those two but between Skyward Harp and Lost Prayers to Sacred Winds like both of those weapons are so good like if I were to get at least one of them I would be happy I would give Skyward Harp to someone probably Venti actually um, and if I get if I actually swipe Lost Prayers to Sacred Winds I'm going to give that to my Ningguang she's gonna be a fucking monster. He was pretty sure they would put on a Skyward Spine so that it would be like Rosaria's signature weapon or for, or so that you could give it to Rosaria, which I kind of agree with. Like I find it a bit strange they didn't put um, a lance or a pole arm as the other five star weapon. You know, if you're trying to do a meme build of Barbara, just swipe that Lost Prayers and you'll be all set. <laughs> Um, but then there's that new 4-star Alley Hunter here. It says that 90 out of 90, the base attack is 565. So it has a really, really high base attack like compared to most other bows. And then it has that extra attack percent. And it has that extra attack percent of 27.6%, which is kind of okay. Like it's not, it's not massive, but for a 4-star, it looks okay. And then while the character equipped with this weapon is in the party, but not on the field, their damage increases by 2% every second up to a max of 20%. And then when it's off the field, that bonus starts going down until it's gone. The first person that came to mind whom this would be for is Fischl, since her Oz mostly works while she's off the field. Or at least you can have it work while she's off the field. Um, but then Fischl has the stringless, so that's the thing. Like. If you already have the stringless, which has been out for a while and which you can swipe from any banner at any time because I think this weapon is going to be expiring after this banner. It's not like it's it's not something you particularly want. That's the case for most of the other characters whom you can give stringless on. Like Venti, who also benefits well from the stringless, would have the same situation with the alley hunter. It's not a marginal, it's not even marginally better. Unless, and here's the thing, which I also concluded with the alley flash, the sword, unless you R5 that thing. Like, unless you R5 the alley hunter, then it becomes a much more competitive weapon to have. I'm anticipating that I think on R5, you'll probably have a maximum damage bonus of 40% probably is probably going to go up something like that. The stringless, its damage goes up with refines also. Its skill damage and alt damage goes up with the refines. All, it's like as good as the alley hunter. So it's kind of a weird choice. I feel like that's kind of a weird choice for Mihoyo to release a new weapon that isn't significantly different or doesn't benefit a specific character's kit more than the stringless, which is already a best or second best in slot weapon for most bow support characters. So yeah, like that was that's basically my thoughts on it. I'm happy to hear your thoughts on it. That's basically 
more or less my reaction to the new banners. Um, and I'm glad you guys shared your thoughts on it too.